Welcome to battle number three of week one. This battle is pitting Sartoad with the Detroit Dunsparces versus Tiller, who is fourth act on Pokemon Showdown, as the downtown Darmanitan. The Mega Pokemon we might see today, Mega Swampert, on the side of Detroit Dunsparces and Mega Sharpedo on the side of Dar downtown Darmanitan. We have a possibility to see both. Z Crystal abilities are that Porygon Z can use any Z move and Zapdos can use attacking Z moves only. On the other side, Golisopod can use any Z move and Raichu Alola attacking only. So we might see Golisopod, we might see either Zapdos or Porygon Z unleash a Z move this match as well. So both teams uh, facing off to today, uh, really interesting. Uh, Team dynamic, uh, Sartoad running Rain with Pelipper there to set up Rain, Mega Swampert to abuse Rain, and we might see Thunder coming from Galvantula as well. And uh, on Downtown Darmanitan, we have Electric Terrain as well as uh, two Pokemon that can actually abuse Rain as well Sharpedo and Golisopod. Golisopod getting that boosted Aqua Jet in the rain, and Sharpedo being able to hit harder with those water type moves in the rain. So, uh, Tiller here is probably going to want to. To have some, <laughs> a little bit of, Tiller's got maybe a little bit of beef with Pelipper being taken away from him. He was originally using Pelipper in the preseason, and I believe he had plans to get Pelipper again for Rain. Uh, and Sartoad exhibiting a classic Gen 5 Rain kind of team, really reminiscent of the Gen 5 days, my favorite Gen personally. <laughs> so, interesting to see what we'll see here. Uh, I think... The the Pokemon that w might have been expected to be really well to do really well was Tapu Koko because of the water types, but this time actually Tapu Koko could only really really hit hard Pelipper. Uh, the other Pokemon aren't hit that hard by Tapu Koko, and I think the Pokemon that might need to be watched out for is actually Golisopod. Golisopod being able to deal massive damage with rain boosted moves as well as Zygarde 10%. Zygarde 10% being able to resist, uh, sorry, is immune to electric type moves. But uh, a good team composition in general from uh, the Detroit Dunsparces on the Dar downtown Darmanitan team, I think uh, he's really going to want to watch out for Zapdos. In particular, Zapdos being able to hit three of his Pokemon pretty hard. Uh, that's going to be one of the ones to watch out for. And also, Mega Swampert in Rain being able to deal some very strong attacks at a very fast speed because of Swift Swift. So, we'll see what happens in this battle today. Really looking forward to it, and I think we're ready to begin. First round, I'm thinking we might see a pivot from either of them. Right, an electric and electric. Aragog versus Blackbird. The electric terrain is up. And Sticky Web is set by Galvantula right off the bat. <clears throat> However, the uh, Sticky Web will be good for Bisharp, who could then use Sucker Punch boosted because of Defiant. Galvantula goes down. Its function to set up Sticky Web has been fulfilled, so more like a suicide lead there. And Venomoth comes out. I'm a die, the shiny Venomoth. Will we see a Quiver Dance setup? When Volt Switch takes Venomoth down to 8%, I. I. Papa. I. Papa. I. Papa. I don't know how to say that berry. Uh, but that berry boosting 
uh, back to 58%. Venomoth getting a Quiver Dance boost. What Venomoth is going to want to be careful of is Sucker Punch from Mr. One, the Bisharp there. Uh, Sleep Powder will get around that. And that is exactly what happened. Sleep Powder getting around Sucker Punch. However, Electric Terrain prevents Sleep Powder from working, something that is easy to forget. Hidden Power hits, but it is resisted, and Knockoff is going to take down the Venomoth, strongly boosted by the Defiant, and Electric Terrain goes down one turn after Venomoth goes down when it could have Sleep Powdered up. Pelipper comes out, setting up Rain. And the Sucker Punch takes Pelipper down in one shot. Very powerful Pokemon boosted by Defiance. Sticky Web might have been the thing that determined this match from the start if the momentum for Bisharp could be kept up. And Sucker Punch fails. Roost fails as well. Sucker Punch hits, dealing massive damage, taking down Zapdos. And what's the PP of Sucker Punch at? Four out of eight. It's four times more than enough of what he needs to take down the other two Pokemon. Will it happen? And Z conversion is set up for Porygon Z. Sucker Punch fails and Porygon Z uses conversion. Sucker Punch fails once again, conversion being used once again. Mind game's going on here, trying to prevent the Sucker Punch. And the final Sucker Punch hits, oh, not the final, there's still one more Sucker Punch. Blue Hulk comes out, very tough situation for Sarto to be in Sucker Punch. Defying Sucker Punch really hurts. And the Sucker Punch is going to deal massive damage, but not the entire HP of Swamper, who's going to be able to take down Bisharp with Earthquake. The monster goes down. And Sigurd comes out. The Extreme Speed hit Hits ending Blue Hulk and claiming victory 5 0 for Downtown Darmanitan. Tiller wins the battle. And I think he really showcased the dangerousness of Bisharp with Defiant. Sticky Web uh, being able to, to get that boost to attack, that free swords dance from Sticky Web was very devastating and I think that in combination with the electric terrain blocking sleep really did it. If Venomoth was able to get a sleep on Bisharp we might have seen a different game altogether but the momentum picked up by Bisharp at that moment being able to to sweep with Sucker Punch uh, was very devastating. So we we didn't really get to see much of the rain dance come out because of how vicious Bisharp was. Uh, maybe if Mega Swamper came out earlier and used Earthquake against Bisharp instead of Pelipper when when it one shot in Pelipper, that might have been enough to be able to change the momentum of the battle. But yeah, very very brutal. Uh, Defiant Sucker Punch is there, and uh, yeah, Tiller will continue with 5-0, and tune in next time for the next battle of the Victory Road Draft League happening tomorrow, I believe.